Welcome back. Coming up on 8.30 right now as we continue to follow breaking news from the area of Coxwell and Girard here in the city. A devastating morning fire. Four people have been killed. 680 News reporter Carl Hansky is at the scene. He has the latest now. You can see fire crews continue to pour water on the house where the blaze started around 4.30 this morning. Sadly, four people have perished in this fire. Another two are in hospital condition unknown at this point. All six were inside that homes when flames broke out early this morning and then quickly jumped from one house to the next one to the next one. Three houses damaged here. And we also have three firefighters at least that were injured, including one that fell through the floor of the burning home. A neighbor say it was absolute pandemonium here. When fire crews arrived, flames were shooting up through the air, coming out the windows. One person actually jumped out of a second floor window to escape the flames, went pounding on doors. Neighbors ran outside. They saw smoke. They saw flames. And again, unfortunately, we have four people that have died in this fire, two more that are in hospital. Uh, they're not releasing the ages or identities of those who have died in this fire. Of course, they have to contact next of kin, but just an absolutely horrible scene. They're continuing to pour water on it now, hours later, and this will go on for a while yet. On Gainesboro Road near Coxwell and Girard, I'm Carl Hansky, 680 News.